Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to import old projects into your new project. So sometimes maybe you have an old sequence or a starting position that you like to start from in an old project. A lot of times I don't like to start from scratch. I'll start from something that I've created in the past so that I can, you know, tweak around, change some stuff up and save some time. And I just like that structure. So you can actually do that yourself by creating sort of a template or even just grabbing something from an old project that you don't want to have to rebuild manually and you don't have to render it out because maybe you want to make some adjustments to that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be importing an old sequence, a sequence in another file into Premiere Pro, and it's actually very simple to do. So what we have right here is a project, and you'll see that I just have a sequence, and I have one that's called, uh, the sequence is called starting point one. Maybe I have multiple of these, maybe there's 25 of these, and I can actually choose which one I import. It doesn't really matter, but what we have here is this project. And so remember how this project is laid out, because we're going to be importing that into a new project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to file, new, and then project. And uh, we'll save the changes to that. And then once it opens up the dialog, let's give it a name. Let's say um, new project. Let's be really creative here. And I can click OK on this. And so once it creates the project, we have this dialog, you know, like normal. I'm actually in the graphics panel right here. Um, let's go into the editing panel. And let's say that I want to, let's go into assembly and grab some footage, but I want it to be exactly like the other one. I don't have to import all the footage in and then redo it. I want that starting point. So instead of dragging it in, I can go up to file, go to import, and then I can find that old one. Remember importing old sequences, that's what we had right there. So I'm gonna click open on that. And then now you'll see that I have the choice to import the entire project or import selected sequences. So if we have a bunch of different um, points in there, so maybe we had like 25 starting points, we don't want to import all of those, we just want to import the one we want. Then we go with selected sequences. I'm going to go with import entire project first. And you can also create a folder, so it'll create a folder within here uh, so it doesn't just import them all straight up or um, allowing duplicate media. So maybe you already have a couple of files in here and now you wanna import an old sequence, that allows that. I'm gonna create a folder to keep it organized. I'm gonna click okay. And you'll see that it has created this old folder called, or this new folder called importing old sequences, which was what the project was named. So if we jump into the editing and go here where we can see the normal thing, if we double click on this, you see the folder opens up and we have those four pieces of footage exactly the way they were. And once I double click on this, I now have that sequence that was identical to the old sequence. It's just been imported into this new project and they're not linked or anything in that sort of way where if you delete the old project now that this won't stay. This has been imported completely and totally. So now you can use it however you want. And that is really just how simple it is. Let me just show you really quickly how you might import um, a sequence. So let's redo the import and we hit import selected sequences. Click OK and you're just going to see it's going to come up here. It's going to read through and find all the sequences in here and you just get to choose. So I only have one sequence. So, you know, I click on it and I can click OK. But, you know, just think this will be a list that will be filled with sequences. You find whichever one you want. You click OK and you click open and it's going to import the items for you which you just see it just imported the sequence once again because we allowed duplicate media. But that is really how simple it is. All you gotta do is go up to file, import, find your old project, and you can import whatever sequence or all of the sequences to give yourself a starting point or just to grab that sequence that you've already created that you don't wanna recreate again. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related content. And until next time guys, see ya.